Everybody, how's it going? Mark here, Backcountry Pipe. On a pretty wet and mild Sunday afternoon. Having a post-holiday pipe. Just, uh, was out tidying up the shed today. And, uh, back to work tomorrow. So I've just been uh, recapping uh, the past seven days in my mind. I'm doing, uh, some... Timber Valley Special that was sent to me from uh, Pipehead OR in the uh, Danish uh, pipe as well. Uh, thanks Gilbert, greatly appreciated. And uh, I would call this a very lightweight, great feeling uh, pipe. Um, super lightweight, super great shape, fits in your mouth perfect. So. I uh, really appreciate it. So yeah, yeah, uh, holidays were great. Um, well, it was a little hard to get in the Christmas mode or spirit. I don't know how the proper way to say it. Uh, really, really mild here since uh, since Christmas Eve, the day before Christmas Eve actually. Christmas Day was 14 degrees rain. We've had a lot of rain. Uh, 10 degrees on Boxing Day uh, at 7 today. Way, way, way too uh, warm. I guess this is what Christmas is like down in the south. But that uh, must just be the Canadian in me because, uh, you know, I'm ready for some snow and ice and uh, colder temperatures. Uh, I don't know, that must sound weird. But uh, last year things froze up early, halfway through hunting season, and uh, you know the lakes and ponds are iced over, and here we are now. Uh, January is a few days away, and the lakes are open. There's no frost in the ground, and uh, it's just really, really odd. Global warming, I don't know, but uh, I'm ready for those cold temperatures. One thing I really always enjoy when it's cold. I seem to walk more on cold days than uh, than warm days. There's something about uh, getting out in that cold, going for a nice long walk. Coming back with the wood stove going. Just, uh, that's my cup of tea. Well, Christmas was great. Catherine had fun. She doesn't really get the whole concept yet, but uh, She's quite a bit further than last year, and next year should be fun. And uh, and on that note, next year uh, is going to be quite a bit different um, because baby number two is on the way. Yes, that is correct. Uh, uh, my wife is due in May, May the 20th, with our second child. Um, very excited. Uh, very proud, and uh, although it's going to be busy, it's going to be well worth it. Um, so yeah, so we're super excited. I don't care if it's a boy or a girl, uh, healthy baby. Um, you know, it's it's pretty cool. So yeah, so she's at the halfway point, and uh, things so far have been going good. And uh, we're looking forward to expanding the family and uh, creating some more of uh, those holiday memories, hopefully, uh, in the future. So, so yeah, we're super excited. Although it's scary, the thought of uh, raising kids in this day and age, uh, with the way the world and society is, but that could be a whole other video in itself, so I won't get into that. But all you can do is your best job and uh, teach them right. So we're super excited. This Timber Valley Special is an aromatic uh, pipe tobacco, but uh, has no aftertaste. Uh, 
It's not goopy. It's a really nice, light but flavorful uh, tobacco. Anyway, I just thought I'd make a video and check in. Um, you're really enjoying uh, sitting out in the shed here, in the quiet, next to the oil lamp, and just you know, recapping uh, the holiday spirit or the holiday season. Sorry, uh, I work now right up through to New Year's, so for me, uh, for me, it's over. But I uh, hope everybody had a great Christmas, and uh, I just wanted to. Uh, Spread the news about the expansion of the family, and I uh, hope everyone's doing great out there. Cheers.